The Walking Dead. All right, again, with this one, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sick still. And I've just kind of been in a crappy mood. It feels like life has just kicked me in the box. So let's see if we can fix that by watching The Walking Dead. It might make things better. Probably knowing this show, it'll make things worse, but it'll be interesting. I also apologize in advance if this is lackluster because I feel like crap. But who knows? Because like last time I watched Once Upon a Time, I was jacked up on cold medicine and I got loopy. So we'll see. This is season seven, episode six of The Walking Dead. Its title is Swear. Let's do it. Didn't the Tara chick have to leave the show because she was like pregnant in real life or something? I'd be just like that little girl if, if I was that age when this stuff happened. My hair used to look like that too. I'm not too freaked out about that revelation of seeing Tara because I saw the promo. We're supposed to. I want to. <clears throat> that girl wants to kill some folks. I, just tell me if you're going to tell. If you're a snitch. Snitches get stitches. And you threw away your teddy bear? I don't like this girl. I kind of did in the beginning. It's freaking hot in here. It is winter and I am pouring sweat. There's a crazy guy outside yelling. I'm always waiting for gunshots. As long as Hilltop keeps their side of the bargain, we have food at home. We need About home. that. All of those people that we killed. Don't get soft on me now, dude. They gave this guy a headband to cover up his weird hairline. What was on that gun handle? Was it like a crudely drawn Lucille? I thought she was gonna poke her with that spear. Why is it whenever they show people on like TV and movies, or like dying of thirst, they grab whatever water container they have and they just like messily drink it and spill half of it? It's wasteful. Should give you a fish. There's a whole ocean, get your own fish. I really wanted to see Tara take a bite out of that fish. Did she wander into a lesbian commune? She'll fit right in. Oh wait, they're shooting at her, never mind. Wow, that little girl wants to kill you, we know that for sure. Look, I'm cool. I'm cool, man, everything's cool. Let's calm down. That girl's holding that gun like an idiot. Didn't they teach her better? What do we think? I think you standing on that edge, like exposed, could get you shot. Let's check behind the tops first. Let's walk past this thing we haven't searched so maybe they can attack us from behind. You're an idiot. There we go. Exactly what I thought. Now you got mummy zombies. How exactly was that one tarp holding all that up? How'd they get behind you? You dropped your gun, honey. You dropped your gun. A heat leave you? We could only find so many bells. There to redirect any of the dead that might have been drawn by it. We wanted to keep our community a secret, but we're going to tell you all of our secrets. People only usually do it when they're going to kill you. We've been traveling around on our own for a couple of years now. Everyone still lies all the time. Yeah, what kind of fishing boat did you work on? Yeah, they're going to ask you questions. Trawler, Sienner, Larder. Oh, last one. You got it. <laughs> Clearly a liar. When that girl Cindy brought me food, I just pretended like I was out and I followed her back. It seemed like she had a You just ratting out Cindy? You see, normally we would have killed you already. You have to stay in our commune. You get some rest while being chained to that radiator. Hope you like fish. Um, that's a loaded uh, question. We have an endless supply of fish here. One of the perks So of many jokes. The ocean. He could stay here. Is there a reason why not? It seems like a lesbian commune. And maybe you could be honest with us about where you're from. I was telling you the truth. Liar! We can protect each other. Yeah, there's a lot going on you don't know, Tara. Help her look for her friend, and then continue on to their community. You probably shouldn't go. Stay where you're at. You got a good thing going. Were you trying to fist bump and she didn't fist bump you, or what's happening? See you later, Rachel. That little girl just spit at her feet? That kid needs to be slapped. Yeah, flip her off. Go back, and then slap her, and then flip her off again. Why, why are you running away? You had a good thing going there. Seriously, what's going on? You're an idiot. And you fell down a hill with a knife. You could have killed yourself. What was the point of all that? They were actually on your side. I'm sorry. You didn't get Yep, that chick coming to save the day again. I Truly, that made no sense. Why did she have to do that? Tara's an idiot. You have to swear. Title of the episode. Never, you have to swear. Just swear so you can leave. I swear. Because that means something. You know I'm not going anywhere until you get to the other side. 
safe. That girl's gonna die. Kathy and Beatrice. They know we were coming here. They're coming. Yeah, where are they? They they didn't catch up with you guys? Sometimes I look at the walkers' tattered clothing and try to figure out what they were wearing originally. And it looks like that one was wearing a cloak. Probably out LARPing in the woods and got caught up being dead. <laughs> the walker's like, time for the big reveal! Pay no attention to the walkers behind the curtain. Why didn't they just stay up there and start shooting them and, like, the gunshot would draw the other ones and then they could just, like, above them shoot all of them? This just seems like a really dumb plan. And you ain't got no more bullets? What? You didn't bring more? And how's she gonna get out of there? She's stuck on top of a car now. Why exactly did you need to get back to the bridge? He done left you. Oh wait, no, he didn't leave you. He probably got eight. Are you just, you're just looking for a zombie Heath? You found him. It looks like Heath has boobies. Oh, that's not Heath. Never mind. Yeah, there's tire tread marks. He left you. Give you a key card that says PPP. Tara's in for some really bad news when those gates open. We don't have to just sit here. But she wants to, okay? I didn't see anything like that out there. See, she's just full of lies today. This episode was boring. And I don't think it's just because I'm sick and things seem weird right now. I think it actually sucked. This season's format has had to, like, fragment everything and compartmentalize individual episodes for each character. And it makes it boring. It reminds me of the Daryl episode because, like, as much story as they told in that episode, they could have told in, like, 15 minutes, but they stretched it to an hour. Same thing. Okay, it's not just me. I just looked up on IMDb. This episode got a 6 out of 10. It's the lowest rated episode this season. Actually, it's the lowest rated episode of the entire show's history, so good. I'm not just sick and seeing things. It sucked. Basically, it opens with this chick and a young girl on the beach. They're walking around. They kill a walker. They find Tara. The young girl still wants to kill her because she's supposed to, apparently. The older chick spares Tara's life and then drags her off. Then we flash back to Tara and Heath still being on the RV. They've been on the road for two weeks. They're supposed to be going back, but they haven't found anything worth value. Heath wants to go back. Tara wants to push out more. And he's like, okay, one more day. Let's go push out. Then we go back to the present and the young girl on the beach who had spared Tara is now like tucked her away and giving her water and some fish and a spear. And Tara's still unconscious, unconscious. As soon as the girl walks away though, Tara gets up, drinks the water, looks at what was given to her and starts following the chick. Tara follows the chick to this village where there's tons of little kids running around. There's women everywhere. It's like a little sea village. Then all the women start freaking out and run for guns and start shooting at Tara, chasing her. Tara gets one of the chick's guns, doesn't shoot the chick, but knocks her out, keeps going. Then the little girl that wanted to kill her originally on the beach has a gun on her and is about to kill her, but then the chick who rescued her comes and stands in the way and saves her again. And then all the women show up with guns and just stand around her. Tara was like also incredibly flippant this whole episode, like just trying to make a joke. I'm like, what, what's going on? Take an awfully light of your situation when there's tons of guns on you. Then we go back to a flashback. Heath and Tara have come to this bridge and it's been blocked on both sides. And there's like, it kind of looks abandoned. There's cars and some tents and some tarps. They go in, they don't see any people anywhere, but they see this giant dump truck has like dumped a bunch of sand all over the road. There's a duffel bag kind of stuck at the base of the sand and Tara's like, there might be something in there. I'm going to pull on it. As she's pulling on it, Heath looks down and sees that there's tons of spent bullet casings like all over the ground and he tells her to stop. She pulls this one little duffel bag out and then the whole mountain of dirt just slides down and there's like a billion deep walkers just popping up. They start fighting. She gets surrounded. Heath, apparently, it appears he just kind of leaves her. Then it cuts back to the present and Tara is handcuffed to like a radiator or something. And this matriarch of the society comes in with the chick that Tara knocked out and some other chick. They start asking Tara questions about who she is and where she came from. She starts lying about it, saying she was on a fishing boat. But she don't know anything about fishing, so they totally know she's lying. They explain to her that they normally kill anyone who comes into their village, but since she spared that one chick's life, they're going to just figure out what to do with her. So they just leave Tara chained up, and then they're like, we're going to go think about stuff. Then that night, they invite Tara over to dinner at the matronly lady's house. The girl that kept saving her is named Cindy, and she's the granddaughter of the lady who runs this whole place. They kind of just shoot straight with Tara, and they're like, look, we don't want our secret of our area to get out, so you should probably think of just staying with us. They tell her that all the men in their community got killed because some group of people killed all the men. Of course, the saviors, duh. They ask Tara to be honest. She finally is. She says that they have a community that they killed, they think they killed all of the saviors at a satellite place. She also tells them she was with her friend on a bridge and fell off. She tells them about their community and says, you know, I think we could help each other. We could protect each other and team up. Old chick don't want to hear that. But then she somehow convinces her because the old lady's like, okay, look. I'll have someone go with you, take you to the bridge, and then they can go ahead and scout with you where you're from. It's totally a perfect plan, right? I mean, why would you want to screw that up? But of course, Tara is a complete idiot because when she goes off with the two women to take her to the bridge, 
She goes to kill a walker and just runs away for some reason. She finally made ground with these people and they were going to help her get back and she runs away from them. She ends up fighting with the chick that she had previously hit with a gun at camp. The chick tells her that the people who killed all of their men are the saviors and that was only at Outpost. There's tons more. Her friends are probably dead already. The chick is about to shoot Tara again and then again the Cindy girl shows up and knocks that chick over. Doesn't even look like she knocked her out, so I don't know why they don't follow them later, but whatever. Cindy ends up chasing Tara down because Tara's still running. She gives Tara food and water and a backpack and then says she has a gun now and she's gonna go help her get to the bridge. But first she makes Tara swear to her that she's not gonna tell about their community because someone swearing means anything. Especially in the apocalypse. People's words mean nothing. They finally get to the bridge and Tara's just gonna cross it, but the girl's like, I'm gonna help you. I have a gun. Let's go fight your way across this bridge. They go to the bridge. There is an enormous amount of walkers that literally pop out behind a curtain. Tara's fighting them with a spear. The chick's shooting them. And still, the other two women that were originally with Tara have not caught up to them yet. And then somewhere along the line, there was a flashback of back on the bridge when she was there with Heath. And Heath didn't leave. He looked like he was helping everybody. He looked like he was getting overwhelmed by walkers. And then she fell off the bridge. So then she's looking around for like a Heath walker. And there's the most stupid misdirect ever. Because you see the back of a black person with dreadlocks. And she looks at him like, is it Heath? But then it's just some female walker who is not mummified or dirty like the other ones. Like, where did she come from? Then Tara looks through the curtain and sees that the other two women from the community have come and taken Cindy and they're taking her back. Tara manages somehow to get off the bridge, even though there's tons of walkers around her. She heads to where the RV was and sees that there's some tire tread marks like a vehicle is sped away. There's also some broken glasses sitting there. And then there's a card, which I think it just said PPP written on it. And she's like, I hope that was you, Heath. Then there's one of The Walking Dead's famous musical montages of Tara walking on foot back to Alexandria. She stops at a curio shop and gets some sunglasses and a little bobblehead of a female doctor. As she's walking up to Alexandria, she's all happy. Eugene lets her in and his sad face gives it away that, you know, your girlfriend's dead. Then we see that Tara is sitting in the doctor's office area and Rosita's there and Rosita is like, I know this is messed up, we don't have to sit here. If you saw any place when you were out that had, you know, guns or ammunition, I don't care if it's dangerous, we can make this right. Just tell me, we'll go get the guns. Tara looks at the little bobblehead and then looks at a bracelet that the chick gave her with little seashells on it. And she's like, no, I didn't see anything like that. And then credits. This episode was stupid. Accurately, Tara was very stupid in this episode. It made really no sense how she behaved in the whole episode. This season has been found wanting, seriously. I think it like majorly jumped a shark with the season opener, but dang. Anyway, if I forgot anything or left anything out, if you guys want to talk about anything, drop a comment. Don't forget to do things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Until next time.